today on this or that. This is my Keurig cafe machine that I have in my space. And one misconception with the Keurig machines is that you have to have those little K cups and you can't use your normal ground coffee, which is incorrect. I have these little K cups that you simply fill your ground coffee in. This is so easy. Even my in-laws can use it and they aren't very tech savvy. You hit coffee, I want mine strong, eight ounces, and then you tap the K once you put your ground coffee or your K cup into the machine. I also use this on the side with my nut pods. So I eat keto, I eat low sugar, and I usually try to stay a little bit away from dairy as well. But I still wanna have that frothy cappuccino latte, like steamed milk type coffee that you get at all the fancy coffee shops, right? So I put my nut pods over on the side. You can select whether you want the cappuccino or latte, which is really just how much froth and foam you're getting and how thick it's gonna make this for you. Mine works perfectly. It frosts up to perfection. It, it honestly makes it look like there's even more than there really is when I put it in there once it's done heating and frothing this up. I then pour all of this over into my Brewmate 3-in-1 to go so that I'm not spilling it on myself. And I feel like I have this fancy cup of coffee with my real ground coffee. I've made it strong and then I still get that really creamy, creamy texture that I can get with this Keurig Cafe. What's also great about this is that piece that does the milk frothing, you can rinse it out quickly and then you can also put it on top shelf dishwasher. I can still have a good cup of coffee and I can still use my ground coffee with that machine. That is my Amaste drip coffee machine. I love the retro style of this. I got this for down in our basement because my mother-in-law really loves to have just an old-fashioned type drip coffee machine that is simple. So typically when she comes, I was expecting her to stay down in the basement. So I wanted her to have something that she could make her coffee as well. I also can use this with my ground coffee. And what's nice is you don't have to have filters. It comes with a pre-filter in here. And then the whole basket can also pop out and everything be washed so that it's not dirty and staying icky. You place the water in the back of this and then you're simply going to turn it on. Select if you want mild, medium, or strong coffee and it can make up to five cups in this container. It also has a no drip and no spill cup down here in the bottom. So once you remove that cup, it's not going to continue dripping down on that bottom, which is the smell and the stuff that I hate about normal drip coffee machines is when it drips down and then it burns on that bottom. You can put up to the five max in here. Also, what's nice about this is it shuts off in 30 minutes. So this or that.